Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make red velvet cake mix crinkle cookies. These things are super duper easy to make, very few ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. Before I move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get baking. Down below in the description box, you'll find a list of the ingredients and their amounts. And this is pretty much just the basic Duncan Hines recipe for this. We are gonna start with one cup of powdered sugar and add in one teaspoon of cornstarch. The cornstarch is optional. I don't always use this cornstarch, but just mix those together real well. Powdered sugar or also icing sugar, confectioner sugar, all the same thing. All right, great. And then we can just set this aside. And now let's take six tablespoons of butter and we wanna melt this. You can do this on in the microwave for a few seconds or on the stove top, just until barely melted. We don't want it to be super hot, all right? All right, and then we're gonna set this aside. We're gonna take a large bowl and we will pour that butter in there. And now at this point, it's just barely all melted, uh, about room temperature. We don't want it to be hot because it'll cook the eggs. Now we wanna put in two large eggs. And then with a fork or a whisk, let's just whisk this together really well. And this will provide the moisture for our cookies. And then we take our red velvet cake mix. It doesn't have to be this um, brand, but this was really cheap. This whole thing, this was like $1.25 at the store. And then we wanna just incorporate it in with that butter and the eggs. And we don't wanna overmix. So we're just gonna use a wooden spoon. And I'm gonna do about half of it at first. Look at that color. And then we can get the rest of this in there. And then incorporate it. And then it's gonna to form together into a nice dough. And if you wanted to make this from scratch, I have a chocolate crinkles video that you could apply food coloring, red food coloring to, and get it to be from scratch. So just mix it all in, make sure you get all the clumps out. So I'm gonna just use my spatula and just scrape around the sides, and I'm gonna bring it all together. And then now we want the dough to be cold or chilled. It helps with forming the cookies, and it helps to get the crinkles or the cracks in the cookie. And so I'm gonna cover this, and we'll place it in the fridge for about 30, 40 minutes to an hour, something like that. Or you can leave it in there longer if you wanna go do something else. All right, once our dough has been chilled, I'm gonna take a large a tablespoon. This is my tablespoon measurement. It's nice because it's nice round shape. Or you can use like a mini cookie cookie scoop or mini ice cream scoop. And this just helps to make them all be the same size. And we'll come in here and we'll get some dough. And we want it to be round. And if it's too sticky, then you're gonna wanna get, you wanna maybe put some shortening on your hands. And then just roll it in the powdered sugar, icing sugar. And then place it on your cookie sheet. Now you don't have to line it with parchment paper or a silicone mat, I just always do. You can actually put these on an ungreased baking sheet and they'll work fine. And space them about an inch and a half to two inches apart. In the meantime, let's preheat the oven to 375 Fahrenheit or 190 Celsius.
This will make roughly about 24 cookies. Once you have a cookie pan or cookie sheet ready to go, bake them at 375 Fahrenheit, 190 Celsius for nine to 11 minutes. And then we'll take them out and go from there. And when they come out of the oven, they'll look something like this. And you're gonna let them sit on the pan for about two to three minutes. And then we will remove them and put them on a wire rack to cool completely. And they're gonna be really soft right now, but then as they cool, they will um, harden up a bit and they'll still be nice and soft and chewy when you eat them. All right, and then once they've cooled, they are ready to be eaten. I'm gonna bite into one and show you what it looks like on the inside. All right, the red velvet cake mix crinkle cookies are done. Turned out fantastic. Really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into one of these. Oh yeah, mm -mm -mm. yeah. Mm.